and green St. Patrick's Day. And I don't just mean the color of the drunks. Happy St. Patrick's Day to ya. Hey, we are continuing our home improvements and look at the progress is made. Pretty, oops, bumping the camera on the door. Pretty impressive for a day. And they were down a guy because uh, one of their guys hurt themselves yesterday doing this. Ugh. But yeah, these guys know their stuff. They're pretty good. Mopey dogs. I guess they're waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I'll take him to the DP later, I hope. And we have a mopey annoyed cat. She is annoyed because she wants a certain specific type of treat. And I won't give it to her. Right, Buddha? Can I pet you, Buddha? Have you ever seen a cat that'll allow you to do that? She loves it. That's why we call her Buddha. Because she loves to have her tummy rubbed. Kind of like Hotai here. You got to rub his tummy for luck. Which, you know, many people mistake this. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Mistake this for Buddha. But Siddhartha got... Ah, oh, I can't say his name. The actual Buddha was probably skinny. Now that's more like it. I know, he's backlit. But there's our other Buddha. You don't really rub his tummy for luck because he doesn't have one. It's probably historically true. And that piece of asphalt, granite, whatever it looks like underneath them, that's a piece of their Route 66 that we bought. So he's sort of our road Buddha. Speaking of Buddhism, I'm probably being very un-Buddha-like, not very calm because let's see these earbuds. This right here, which is probably making noise now, is the microphone. And I'm trying to replace this system, but uh, having some bad luck with that. I use this mic right here, but the connection on the end is wrong. So I guess I'll have to uh, figure something else out. Uh, you know, the iPhones, I forget what they call that connection, but it's a specific type of connection for phones. and. And uh, I don't have the right adapter for it. I guess I'll look that up online. And speaking of bad luck, I mean, you know, we should really seriously reconsider buying Chinese products. This thing here, which is what I use to charge my Osmo batteries, only works half the time. And you have to have everything just right and the weather aligned just perfectly for the batteries to charge. This one here that I bought to replace it just quit on me. So... Nothing lights up, nothing happens. Ugh. It's funny because I think the Osmo itself is Chinese too. I mean, you know, it depends on the company, but it's kind of hard to tell. You know, some companies make better products than others. And I think DJI, which makes a lot of the uh, um, quadcopter drones, is a pretty good company and a lot of people like them, which is probably why they're number one. But some of this stuff, some of this technology that's coming out is so new and so fresh that there's a lot of companies that are jumping on board and making products for it. And then, you know, us Americans, we kind of go, ah, oh, well, I'm going to get the cheapest because, you know, I don't want to get the most expensive. And what ends up happening is when you buy cheap, you get what you pay for. And I'm afraid that's what's happening to me in some of these cases. I'm buying cheap stuff and getting crap in return. So, you know, if I sound a little... uh xenophobic and racist saying Chinese, cheap Chinese. I mean, I, you know, there's a buyer beware and there is a philosophy among many Chinese companies that they're out to get as much as they can. And, you know, there's a lot of American companies that are enabling that too, you know, sending all our workforce, all our work over to China because everything has got to be about the money and making things cheap but cheap is not always better. Usually as a philosophy, when I go to buy stuff, I look at the middle range. Um, my experience in the past is like, if you buy the best, thinking you're gonna get the best, you don't always get the best. What you usually get are a lot of features that are usually carried over into cheaper products. 
I mean, you know, the lot of the good quality features, but you're also buying a lot of extras that you find you would never use. So go for the middle, usually. But, you know, as always, do some research on... Oh, Stella. Stella just yacked. Ugh. I'm glad we're replacing this carpet. Are you okay, Stella? Don't eat that. But, uh, where was I? Yeah, um, you have to do some research on the products you're buying, too, and figure out what you want. And, you know, unfortunately, even with research, you can still get burned. There's a lot of people out there who like to lie about things and get paid to say things that are not true. And well, that's what's going on in the world these days. Well, excuse me, I got to clean up a mess. So we know it's spring because I spent the afternoon cleaning up the leaves from fall. Didn't get very far though. All right, doggies, let's go in. Come on, come on, in. And another sign that it's spring is that we have an uninvited guest in the house. I don't know if I'll be able to, I'll be using the camera to try and scare it out or wear it down, just like the bat a few years back. But the critters have been going crazy. Up there. All right, come on, Bertie, let's go. Out of the house. Oh, Jimmy, don't be underfoot. Come on, don't go up there. Come on, get down, get down. Hey, Birdie. Come on, let's go. Come on, out, 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 out. That's not the way out. Alright, that's more like the way out. Woohoo! Cat, don't get the bird. Woohoo! Success, success. Ooh, that only took 37 seconds according to the little timer up there so that didn't take very long and no a cat did not get a free meal which would have been disgusting because they like to lay those things on our pillow and you hate to see that happen to an innocent critter i can think of no better way than to spend part of saint patrick's day at the dog park right doggies right doggies let's go all right, come on, dogs. Come on, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, you want to go in or not? Come on. Stella's ready to go. Stella. Ouch. Three second, Jimbo. All right, come on. Immediately. Uh, Jimmy's got to explore. All right, got to go do my duty. Coffee, tea, or steamer? I don't know. I have to get up early tomorrow. Probably pay for it if I have coffee, but I'm tempted. I haven't had my coffee today. Plus, I need a hot drink and some socialization. And on the way over here, all the restaurants were pretty full. And there were a lot of drunk people walking the streets, so happy St. Patrick's Day.
finish off, I decided to take the doggies for a walk in the belly of the beast for St. Patrick's Day, which is Westport. Sure is crazy with all the traffic. We got the streets to Westport blocked off. This way, pups. busy tonight. All right, dogs, sit. Wait for the crazy drivers. Getting drunk on St. Patrick's Day is so cliche. Whoop. <laughs> Sorry, doggies. Some of us don't have to get drunk to be tripping around. Oh boy. Even this place is full. And, uh, I don't think this is a family friendly celebration. Jimmy, get out of there. Ugh. Yucky. You act like we never feed you. All right, here goes into the beast. Oh, I think we have to walk around into the street. At the sidewalk, walked off. Kelly's Old Westport is the epicenter. Epicenter of St. Patrick's Day, right here. Kansas City. Hey, Jimmy. Churches decide to pack it in. Jimmy, come on. Having trouble with Jimmy here because there's so much food spilled on the ground. He's having a smorgasbord. Come on, Jimmy. No smorgasbord. This stuff's bad for you. Oh, sure. Yeah. I just saw a St. Patrick's Day lightsaber. Jimmy, come on. I'll feed you when you get home. Jeez, Jimmy. Official bar of St. Patrick's Day. Jameson? It doesn't say what the bar's name is. Is that Rin and Skippy? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh. Ren and Skippy? Don't even know what that means. Hey, Jimmy, was that inappropriate? Is that disrespectful? Parking, $15. Somebody's making money tonight. California's is quiet.
Oh yeah. That sidewalk is blocked too. All right, sit, sit, Jimmy. Hi, Stella. What you doing? <sighs> Long lines and expensive drinks at St. Patrick's Day. There's like a river of beer coming out of the dumpster over here. Ugh, gross, gross. Old, stale, cheap, American piss-ass beer. You're kind of dragging there, Stella. Or maybe we're being funneled into a trap. It's a trap. Doggies. I think we've done this before, huh? Sorry, dogs. That was me. This way, dog dogs. Come on, Jimmy. Stop eating those funnel cakes. You're gonna get fatter. Oh yes, funnel cakes. A fine traditional Irish meal. Buddy! Yes, they are. Yes, we're back here again. Oh wait, it's another official bar of St. Patrick's Day. It's also called Jameson. I think all the bars have changed their name to Jameson for just one night. Alright dogs, are we ready to blow this craziness? <laughs> 